Welcome back. It has been a swine flu week, if you will, so far. One question a lot of people have been asking is whether uh, people in general, the media in particular, might be overreacting to the scare, creating too much panic. The CDC estimates 36,000 U.S. citizens die from flu-related causes every year. So far, we've not seen any swine flu deaths in the U.S., but this virus is still in the early stages. We've been looking for your views on this story. We're joined now from Arizona. Helen's on the line. Helen, hi. Hi. What do you think? I think it's being blown way out of proportion. I am not the least bit worried. Uh, like you said, there's not anyone dying from this in this country yet. But uh, I don't think the government should be making too big a deal out of it at this point in time. How about the border? Do you think it's uh, well protected like it is? Or? No. No, no, no. I don't think it's well protected at all. I think it, they should do more to... Uh, um, critique that uh, people coming over the border like that all the time. All right. Thanks for your call. We got an email from Ricky in Arizona who writes, although it may seem unreal, this flu is very much alive and well. Towns such as mine that are 10 minutes from the border to Mexico should take extra precautions. Everyone, please be careful. Kevin in Boston tends to disagree. He says, nine seconds. That's how long I had HL on before you mentioned the swine flu. Should I be wearing a surgical mask? They don't stop you from getting sick, you know. How many people died in car accidents yesterday? I guarantee it was more than died of the flu. Should I avoid driving? Stop trying to scare me. Just report the news. Is it a news network's job to breed fear among the population?